You must be George the architect. This is Delia's bedroom. She's my princess, my miracle. This is where we keep her denim, and that's her shoe closet segregated by heel. Mules. Those are backless shoes, George. And this is her skyline put over the place where she slumbers. Okay, so people around here gossip. She needs some of this motherly love. Oh. Yeah. Some sparkly stuff. <laughs> Maybe some dead hair. Tessa, your dad said I could come up. Can I come in? You're already in. Um, about the other day, I acted like a real biznitch. And I just wanted to say how sorry I am. It's just... Ah! Four. George! Oh, I'll be right back on. George! George! Hey! hey. I've got to caught you. I want to talk to you about something that may be none of my business, but also kind of is. You need to drop out of the PTA. What? Why? Today's meeting was a total disaster, in case you didn't notice. You offended just about every one of those women. Yep. Hey, Beth. And like it or not... You're never going to be a part of their pack. Well, that's fine, but I'm not quitting the PTA. Those women are judging me, and I have just as much right to be there as they do. Well, I suspect Sheila is going to do everything in her power to make you feel otherwise. Oh. Nobody? Okay, fine, I'll do that. Um, but you're doing the refreshments. No, oh my god, George. Did you hear about the break-in? <laughs> Drop your curtain rod, it's just me! Please. This is a quote muscle. I'm an emotional eater. And I was feeling a little guilty. Under. Well, I really put you on the spot when Dahlia and I showed up at your door. And you had every right to throw that hissy fit earlier. Oh, fit. Yeah, it was. Thinking. Well, it's hard doing it alone. I mean, Steven travels so much, he's gone more than he's here. Sometimes I feel like a single parent. Um, voila. You gotta make French toast. Oh no, next weekend is the... You really think the girls are gonna like it? They have a hayride that takes you right to the Chowder Festival. <laughs> really? Wow. I had no idea there were so many festivals here. Oh yes, honey, every weekend. Our families are gonna have so much fun together. String up some smiley faces for our annual jaunty, not haunty, care fest, not scare fest. They must have eaten too many gumdrops. <laughs> Considerable financial lengths to create a community to protect our children. So why on God's green would we go around and scare the bejoozies out of them? George? Come in. George? Hey, I got your message, and I don't want to be rude, but I think any more talk of this guillotine of yours is a huge waste of... <laughs> Okay. Can we just watch Sex in the City, the sequel? No. Wait, well, then how about the one with the cute... Okay, then... The okay, George, just pick one. Surprise me. Okay. Okay, yes. Go for it before it's too late. I am going to send off a quick email to the Neighborhood Association and let them know I said okay. Dallas. I appreciate that. I have dinner plans tomorrow. Stephen, your and I see you met our new neighbor. She is the girl that's gonna save Florida. That's the spirit, and I should know. I have run over a hundred charities in my time. Come a charity case. Canned bisque, some Egyptian cotton hand towels, an air multiplier. We ordered two, one for the cabana, but you need it more. Yeah. Life. Average shelf life. Cute. That's a it's a top-notch party planner to whip it together in time, and I know someone who's smart, stylish, well-connected, and happens to be standing right in front of you. Me too? Me? No. Dad? No, no, no. Uh, hey, hey, let me tell you something, Tessa. These are diamonds! 
bitch, I'd get you excited about chats when and what do I do? I'll bring you into the city. I mean, why does George even have to know? This can just be our little secret. <gasps> oh my gosh, Gucci's just laying on the sidewalk. I like that one. 50. I'll take it. What? I love it. I want it. I have to have it. I'll take it. Where do we pay? It's not for sale. It belongs to the museum. Honey, everything has a price. But seriously, it's not for sale. We'll see. So now we don't sit down? No, we don't sit down because we have places to go. And yet we don't hail a cab. We fold, drip, and buy it. Oh, that's just filthy. Is that part of it? Why is she wearing a skinny great? You be careful in those high heels, gorgeous. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Certainly. Out here, shoes on or inside, shoes off? Uh, out, on, okay? All right, you know what? All this fighting is historically accurate. Don't let the man mind. Well, someone has to. She's a product of terrible parenting. <gasps> You're the one who scheduled a... No way I'm taking that bitch. <laughs> hey. Can't believe all the flights are grounded. I'll be in my room. My room, so don't fuck. you here they're juicy and ready to eat you know i i don't think i'm gonna get any melons anyway so i'll see you later george i've been calling you and you haven't answered and i'm starting to feel like maybe you're avoiding me to design my... you what does my being married have anything to do with no, you no, designing nothing, my nothing, boutique nothing. I, I i i just think the two of us uh -oh. what's that supposed to mean Ooh, that sounds expensive george oh george doesn't this space just ooze potential? It oozes, all right. I am. I bet your brain is just spinning thinking about all the things we can do in here. Or <gasps> up against this wall. Oh, no. Beg pardon? Let's. Oh, we can do it right here, right up against this wall. Oh, George. Joe, why don't you get that bid to me ASAP, and I'll get back to you even ASAP. So what do you think? The job is still yours if you want. So that that kiss. Instead of seeing my new boyfriend Scott Strauss, I was forced. Ooh, nice work out there, Sheila. Between your unstoppable backhand and my diligence at the net, we are gonna dominate the mid-morning winter league. <laughs> oh. Hey, George. Real cozy. Well, comfy cozy. No one was drunk, not too crunk. The joint was on point, pretty much. Oh, George, you have nothing to worry about. Tess is a great girl, and that boy she had over was super nice. Fully clothed. He wants to know how I feel before I know how I feel. Hill! Yeah, sure. Scott is cute and everything. And it's not like he's an idiot. But truthfully, he's kind of boring. Wait, does that sound mean? I don't mean it to sound mean. Pop it low. And enough about Zambia. We get it. In Africa, you're a do-gooder, but you know what you're not good at? Catch and pivot at the waist. The truth is, so what am I holding on to? He sure did. Hello, Aaron?
seemed to be enjoying her newly single life, even if it was raising a few eyebrows. Really, Sheila? George Altman? That's who you wanted to set me up with? George, are you here to tell me? Oppress me, finesse me, redress me, wrap me head to toe in a Sherpa? I refuse to be corrected by the likes of you. I may have used the wrong I'm a full-grown woman, George Altman. Full grown. But we'll just see about that, George. I'd like to reserve judgment until I see how you handle your mallet. <laughs> what was that? Was that your swing? <laughs> That's not how it's done, George. Uh, it's through the legs. Let me show you. I'll show. Slow thrust here. Thrust? A lot. Of George! It really was. Go, George! You know what, Joy Behar? You give me strength. You truly. Am I nervous about the store opening? <laughs> Oh, you do ask the tough questions, Joy Behar. Yes. Yes, quite frankly, I am. I've never tackled anything like this on my own. Hi, darling. How was your day? Over there. Speaking of feeling better, we're about to have a house full of guests. All my sorority sisters are coming out for the opening. Alice? Oh my gosh, that keeps happening. I've got to watch my wingspan. If I keep breaking things, we won't open tomorrow. Any references? You? Oh. And in what way are you like a Christmas? Agreed on a semi-formal store uniform which Dallas would provide. And most importantly, we agreed on a generous hourly wage that meant I would be able to car in the not too distant future. I was still trying to figure out a way to fly the coop while Dallas was busy filling her empty nest with some chicks she hadn't seen in a while. Your husband is gonna lose his mind with us making all this noise down here. <laughs> well, actually, you said they weren't ML? Anything else? I was not gonna grow old with some dog getting bit up on by fleas. Mm. Maybe it just hasn't hit me yet, or maybe I'm being extra strong for Dahlia. So, hello, Tulsa. Cheat, cheat. Well, I always pictured you more as a snake. Dahlia. Well, I said it was for a dog when I booked the appointment. Whose fault is that? That's not my fault. Well, I, no, you can't cancel on me now because I've cleared my whole evening. Bye, Mommy. Carmen's taking me to therapy. Oh. Hey! Wait, Carmen, what are you up to afterwards? See you later, Mommy. Okay, then. Okay. I'll see you later, Dahlia and Carmen. I'll see you both later, then. Wait. Carmen, honey, put a pin in it. Dahlia's mama's here to inspire her. To speak. Dahlia. Dahlia, I'm pretty sure I was clear about no movie pets. That said, he is a cute caramel color. I still can't believe people buy bro. Hey, Lisa. Okay, what about a Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I feel confined! <sighs> if something happens to that dog, I don't know what I'll do. I don't know how I'll press on. I won't. Okay, D Dallas, hey, you need to calm down oh. and sit and tell us exactly what happened. Tessa is doing such an amazing job. Actually, what I wanted to talk to you about See, I'm worried Tessa may be working too hard. But I like working here. And I like spending time with you. I like spending time with you too, but... <gasps> oh! So Tessa's not upset you are. Well, trust me, George, that's way better. Let's do this. Oh! Carmen will get it. That 